finished making. Um, you see this one? This one. Hi, hello, welcome, welcome to another studio vlog. My name is Cam, and I am a polymer clay artist. I was thinking for this week, um, instead of you guys just watching me work for another uh, shop update, I was thinking that while I'm working, I would give you guys a few tips and tricks with polymer clay. So if you are interested in um, dabbling with polymer clay, please stick around and uh, see the tips that I have for you guys when working with polymer clay. Uh, specifically for me, um, when you're making figurines out of polymer clay. Just for a little background, I've been working with polymer clay for um, maybe eight, seven years now. Um, so it's been quite a while. I have been making figurines like uh, this, or this, or this, or this one. I've been selling them in my shop and I think it's been going pretty well. <laughs> it's been pretty good. Many, many thanks to the people who has been uh, supporting my work, you know, because without, without them, without you guys, I wouldn't be where I am right now. I wouldn't be able to keep making these figurines and um, actually make a little bit of money from it and, you know, help with my family and stuff which is really it's a great feeling um being able to support my family with what i love you know doing what i love <laughs> let's get started with today's work and as i work as i said as i work i will be showing you my tips and tricks with polymer clay before getting started with your polymer clay journey or adventure first you have to pick your polymer clay there's quite a few choices out there, but the ones that you can find at your craft store like Michael's, Joann's, or Blick. If you are from LA, I'm not sure if Blick is found in any other states. Most of the brands that you can find there are Sculpey, Sculpey 3, Sculpey Primo, Fimo, or I believe it's called Craft. I'm not sure, Craft Smart from Michael's. Um, each of those polymer clay, uh, they all have different um, feel to it. My favorite one, the one that I, I'm always using, is Sculpey Primo, which is um, it's a little bit firmer, but not super firm. And it's good because for me, since I, I make little figurines out of polymer clay, it's not super soft that when you touch it and you shape it, it gets deformed really quick. Sculpted 3 is also something that I use, but for Sculpted 3, I usually leave those for smaller things for me. For example, I made this one. There you go. For Worm. <laughs> this is actually a custom order that I just finished making. Um, you see his scarf? That is actually a uh, Sculpey 3. I use Sculpey 3 for 3 for that. I don't really like using my Primo for tiny things like that because I like to reserve those for the bigger parts like the body and stuff. Sculpey 3 is a little bit softer. Um, yeah, so you gotta watch out for that too. Also use Fimo every now and then when <laughs> Only when I couldn't find um, the brand that I use, which is um, Sculpey Primo. It's up to you which one you guys you want to use. But uh, my only suggestion is that maybe um, you could buy a block of each to just to try them out and see which uh, which one you prefer. Another tip on top of another tip. <laughs> is if you are going to get your polymer clay it's best to go to the store first instead of buying it online i say this because 
when I buy my supply of Primo for me, Scalpy Primo, when I buy it online and then it arrives here at home, uh, there are times when the clay would arrive and they are super hard, super hard, like almost rock hard that you can't use them anymore. So when that happens, it's it's really a waste of money, a waste of time. So for me, I, nowadays, I prefer going into the store and feeling it for myself before I buy it. You can still soften them with clay softener, but it takes a lot of work just to get it soft enough to work with. And then sometimes they get hard again. <laughs> Go to the store and feel it out for yourself. Next you need are your tools. The basic tools that I have, at least when I first started, was an X-Acto knife. Ooh, this looks dangerous, but right here. An X-Acto knife for cutting your polymer clay to size. I also have um, this ball tool. This ball, I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but you can find these at Michael's as well at your craft store. I use these for making um, small indentations into my figurines. It has this end, this tip right here. This ball tip right here for making those indentations. And at the other end is a silicone tip for, for blending as well. But I don't really use it as much because it's not that soft <laughs> for blending things for small details i bought these this one this one has a pointy silicone tip which is great for as i said blending things especially in um small and tight corners but this one works really well another important one for me is a small needle tool like this one this one you cannot buy this from any craft store i actually made this this is one one of my must-haves it's very versatile it's good for blending uh, especially in like really tight corners it's good for adding details it's good for adding adding texture so <laughs> It's very, very useful. Um, if you are interested in um, learning how to make one of yours, one of your own, um, just let me know. Maybe I could make a small tutorial on how I made my little needle tool. And my cat is on the table. <laughs> I also have this blade right here. You can also find this in your local craft store. I use this for chopping up big pieces of clay from my polymer clay blocks. <laughs> Instead of using my tiny X-Acto knife, I would use this if I needed like big chunks of it. Those for me are the basic stuff that you are going to need.
close out the video I did forget two important tools that you're going to need <laughs> the first one being is the oven you need an oven to bake your polymer clay in the oven doesn't have to be anything fancy you can even use a small toaster oven to bake your polymer clay in just make sure that you do have your baking thermometer just to make sure that your oven is running on the right temperature uh, you can also use your giant oven with the stove on top i'm not sure what it's called but it's a big one with the stove yeah you can use that too you don't need anything fancy just a, either a small toaster oven or the big one and the last tool that you do need are your hands <laughs> um, you do need your hands for sculpting, of course, for shaping your clay, and for blending. Those are some of the tips and tricks that I have for you when you are starting with polymer clay or you know if you already had some experience with polymer clay. <laughs> I hope some of the tips that I gave you um, helped a little bit in your journey to exploring polymer clay and um if you like the video if you have any other tips that you want to share um can you can please um, leave a like or leave a comment down below and if you want to follow me through my polymer clay journey um please uh subscribe right thank you i'll see you next time bye